Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we are doing another daily challenge. Farm Bloons Tower Defense 5 and this is Balloon Bending. So it's a pretty easy one. Uh, it's a very uh, straightforward one as well. You get uh, two of each of three towers and you can place them wherever you want. Um, the Dark Monkeys are four and two or limited to four and two I should say. The other two you can do whatever you want. Um, so we're going to go with two dark monkeys for the beginning. Go into uh, Monkey Apprentice. The Monkey Apprentice is going to be two and four. Uh, well, it's going to be two and two for now. Then we're going to build another one and upgrade the dark monkeys and blah blah. So um, yeah. As I said, pretty straightforward. It doesn't really matter what you upgrade because uh, in the beginning you will have too much firepower and by the end, yeah, it will get a little bit harder, but by that time you will have made enough money to uh, upgrade everything to full. So it doesn't really matter anymore. Anyhow, um, yeah, there are a few rounds, I forgot which ones, but a few rounds that are close, but um, yeah, even losing a few lives here wouldn't have made a much of a difference. I don't think I lost any lives to be honest, but we'll see, we'll see. Starting off with 150, so we should be able to see in the end what uh, what there's left and um, yeah, I'm expecting 150, but yeah, maybe it's less. Anyhow, upgraded uh, the dart monkey, the, the uh, monkey apprentice is two and two now. Uh, yeah, the dart monkey is now three and zero. I'm not going to upgrade path 2 until later in the game uh, because it's useless. Um, yeah, the fourth upgrade on path 1 pretty much pops an unlimited amount of balloons, so getting unlimited plus 2 is kind of, yeah, useless. So, um, yeah, uh, upgrading the camo uh, detection on the apprentices, I believe. And then, oh, there's a cat in front of my screen. It's so hard to do these things. Why do you do this? Anyhow, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just that I can't really see what's going on. So oops, let me take her away from there. Yeah, you can speak as well. So yeah, we're... Um, just taking out all of the balloons as you can see this is a really easy track so because this is such an easy track you pretty much can do whatever you want by the way the left uh, dart monkey is set to last the uh, the right one is set to first and by doing that I always get the first hits off on balloons but the other dart monkey will still focus the the long lane so the vertical lane and yeah that's of course uh, excellent so now a two and three of monkey apprentice because well that's awesome <laughs> I mean, the two three is a very good upgrade and um, yeah as you might have noticed I uh, I got frost towers in there the frost towers are going to be two and four out of yeah two and four yeah that's it um, they're currently two and two, no two and one even, because the the, the other thing is not really a problem. So um, yeah, two and four, wizard, a, a monkey apprentice, because you need that uh, that phoenix to defeat the the moabs, and you will need the phoenixes to um, to defeat every moab that's coming in. That's why it's good that it's only going to round fifty five. Because you don't really have anything to defeat the Moabs otherwise. The Ice Towers of course don't shoot at the Moabs. Uh, the Dart Monkeys only do one damage with each shot. And the only th the only ones that can actually help you pop them uh, are the uh, Wizards. The Apprentices. And yeah, they're not really doing that good of a job because there are only two of them. With three you would have been able to pop everything. So I'm trying to uh, get the Phoenix out as late as possible because that way it will take out everything that I uh, I wanted to. 
Anyway, this is the last wave then. It's just a bunch of these ceramic balloons and one more. Should be easy enough. So we get the victory. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. GG!